Hello everyone, today's topic is block matrices and here I am going to discuss the type of block matrices. Hope you find this helpful and for getting every update, please subscribe to my channel. Now let us get back to our topic that is block matrices. A matrix A can be partitioned into sub matrices called blocks or cells of A using a system of horizontal and vertical dashed lines. And a given matrix can be divided into blocks in different ways. For example, see, this is one form, this is the second form, and this is the third form. Okay. Now here as you can see, the matrix can be of any order. So here the matrix is of order 4 cross and the columns are 2 to 4, 1, 5, okay. 4 cross 5. Now this can be partitioned in any ways. So these are the possible ways. Now next let us come to the square block matrices. Let M be a block matrix. Okay. Then M is called a square block matrix if M is a square matrix and the blocks form a square matrix and next the diagonal blocks are also square matrices okay so the latter two conditions will occur if and only if there are same number of horizontal and vertical lines and they are placed symmetrically okay consider the following two block matrices see here one example is there this a so here we can see this is a square block matrix because see here this is a 2 cross 2 matrix. This is also a 2 cross 2 matrix. This is also a 2 cross 2 matrix and this is also a 2 cross 2 matrix. Now similarly this one here this is also a block sorry square block matrix because this 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 and this all these four are square matrices. Okay. Now see, the next topic is, sorry, a block diagonal matrix. Okay, a block diagonal matrix also represented by diag A1, A2, AN is a, up to AN, okay, is a block matrix that is a square matrix such that the main diagonal blocks, the main diagonal blo blocks are square matrices and all off diagonal blocks are zero, okay. So that is a block diagonal matrix A has the form this one. Okay, see here the first uh, square matrix is A1, then the next square matrix is A2, and then the last one is AN, and this all A1, A2, AN are non zero square matrices. Okay, and rest all the matrices will be null matrix. Then that will be called a, a block diagonal matrix. Okay. For example, see here, this is a 4 cross 4 matrix. Okay. So here we can see that this is partitioned equally into 2 cross 2 matrices. So this is a square matrix. So this is a block square matrix. And this is also a diagonal matrix because see, this matrix and this matrix are the null matrices. Okay, sorry, this. And this matrix in this matrix are the non-zero matrices. Okay. So therefore, this type of matrix is called a block diagonal matrix. All right. Now next is our determinant of a block diagonal matrix. So let us see how to find the determinant of a block diagonal matrix. If M is equals to A00 D, then determinant of M is equals to determinant of M sorry determinant of a into determinant of d all right so here a and d are the non zero square matrices and this zeros are the null matrices all right so this is the formula for for finding the determinant of a block diagonal matrix so now uh, let me explain this through an example see here if m is equals to this much then the determinant of m is equals to the determinant of this matrix okay and the determinant of this matrix let me consider this as a 
and this is D. Then this is equals to the determinant of A into the determinant of D. All right. Now the determinant of A is how much? Two. One into two minus three into six. That is two minus eighteen into determinant of D. That is one into three minus two into three. That is three minus six. All right. So this is minus sixteen into minus three. That is my sorry forty eight. All right. So its determinant is forty eight. See. So this is how we can easily find the determinant of a diagonal matrix. Okay. By using this formula. So see the next matrix is the block upper triangular matrix. Okay. So a square block matrix is called a block upper triangular matrix if the blocks below the diagonal are zero. Okay, and a a block lower triangular matrix if the blocks above the diagonal are zero matrices. For example, see this is a block upper triangular matrix. Okay, because you can see that above the diagonal. See, this is the diagonal. So above the diagonal, the matrices. This is non-zero. Here A, B, D are all non-zero square matrices. Okay, and C is and zero is the null matrix. So uh, here this is an upper triangular matrix, and this one is a lower triangular matrix because see, below the diagonal are all the non-zero matrices, and above the diagonal there is a null matrix. Okay. So this is called the lower triangular matrix. Now see here, if M is equal to this, a four cross four matrix, then this is a lower triangular matrix. Okay, lower triangular block matrix because we can see that after partitioning, see this one is a null matrix and rest all these three are the non-zero square matrices. Okay. Similarly, here after partitioning, we can see that this is a null matrix. Okay, and rest of these three matrices are the non-zero square matrices. So, therefore, this is a upper triangular matrix, and this is a lower triangular matrix. Okay. See, because this forms lower triangle, and this forms upper triangle. Okay. Sorry, lower triangular block matrix because this forms a uh, upper triangle and this forms a lower triangle. All right. The next is the process here of finding the determinant of a block upper or lower triangular matrix. Okay. Now the process here of finding the determinant of a block upper and lower triangular matrix is same as that of a diagonal block matrix. Okay. See, uh, in diagonal matrix also we knew that determinant of M was equals to the determinant of A into determinant of D, isn't it? Where M is equals to A zero zero D for a diagonal matrix. All right, and now for a upper triangular matrix. Means uh, say a matrix like this, its determinant is also equals to the determinant of A into determinant of D, and the determinant of a lower triangular matrix, that is if Q is equals to A zero B D, then The determinant of Q is equals to determinant of A into the determinant of D. All right. That means what? This into this, this into this, this into this. All right. So this is the formula for finding the determinant of a block, diagonal or upper or lower triangular matrix. All right. Thanks for watching my video and if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you